In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Christ is risen. Alleluia. And he has overcome death. It's Easter Daily Bread Devotions with Father Eustace C. A a selection of Don Bosco. Stay tuned. It is Friday the 26th of April 2024, fourth week of Easter, and participating in the proclamation of the Word of God for today are the following Daily Bread members. Clemencia Sibanda from Wange, Zimbabwe, takes for us the first reading. We need Teresa Bualia who celebrated her birthday yesterday from Lusaka, Zambia, takes for us the responsorial psalm, and proclaiming the gospel and preaching the word of God for us today is Father Ben Chola Chama, a Komboni missionary of the heart of Jesus, working in Kampala Archdiocese in Uganda. Let us pray. O oh God, author of our freedom and of our salvation, listen to the voice of our pleading and grant that those you have redeemed by the shedding of your son's blood may have life through you and under your protection rejoice forever unharmed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading, Behold, we turn to the Gentiles. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, Acts chapter 13, verses 26 to 33. In those days, when Paul came to Antioch of Pisidia, he said in the synagogue, Brethren, sons of the family of Abraham, and those among you that fear God, to us has been sent the message of this salvation. For those who live in Jerusalem and their rulers, because they did not recognize him nor understand the utterances of the prophets which are read every Sabbath, fulfilled these by condemning him. Though they could charge him nothing deserving death, yet they asked Pilate to have him killed. And when they had fulfilled all that was written of him, they took him down from the tree and laid him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead, and for many days he appeared to those who came up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem, who are now his witnesses to the people. And we bring you the good news that what God promised to the fathers, this he has fulfilled to us, their children, by raising Jesus, as also it is written in the second psalm, You are my son, today I have begotten you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response Psalm. Psalms 2. Verses 6 to 7, 8 to 9, 10 to 12a. Response is taken from Psalms 2, verses 7 BC. And the response is, You are my son. It is I who have begotten you this day. You, you are, are my son. son. It, it is I who have begotten you this day. It is I who have appointed you, who have appointed my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will announce the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son. It is I who have begotten you this day. You are my son. It is I who have begotten you this day. Ask of me and I will give you the nations as your inheritance and the ends of the earth as your position. With a rod of iron, you will rule them like a porter's jar. 
you will shatter them. You are my son. It is I who have begotten you this day. So now, O kings, understand, take warnings, rulers of the earth. Save the Lord with fear. Exhort with trembling. Pay him your homage. You are my son. It is I who have begotten you this day. Gospel acclamation is taken from the book of John 14 and verse 6. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father but by me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. John chapter 14, verses 1 to 6. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house, there are many rooms. If it were not so, could I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself. That where I am, you may be also. And you know the way to where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one come to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, the apostles received the gifts of salvation from the risen Lord and the mandate to share it with the whole world. Despite the limited means of transportation or traveling and the communication of their time, they preached the message of Christ and reached the end of the earth. Friends, the first reading of today invites us to be the apostles of our time, to be the Pauls, the Peters, the James of today. In other words, to be witnesses of our time. We are called to be witnesses to the way. We are called to be witnesses to the truth. We are called to be witnesses to life. The question will be, what kind of a witness are you? Are you a true witness or a makeup witness? A true witness live a life according to the value and the principles of the gospel. A true witness is the man or woman with the hearts of people. Dear friends, some of us, the life we live, even our attitudes and behavior, even the devil will never accept us as his witness. Friends, the gospel of today reminds us that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. The way means Jesus is the only way to God the Father. The means by which we can come into right relationship with our brothers and sisters, with creation, and above all, with God himself. This indicates that following Jesus' teaching 
accepting him as the only son of God is the path to eternal life, is the path to heaven, is the rather to all that is good. The truth means Jesus is the word of God made flesh. Friends, Jesus is the truth. Jesus is the first and the real and the origin and the true manifestation of God the Father presence among us. He is the truth. As the followers of Christ, let us manifest him to our brothers and sisters in everything we do, in words and action in our daily lives. Friends, when we transform our families, our lives, and we live with each other at peace, when we help the poor in our communities, when we visit the sick in their homes and hospitals, when we do what is good to one another, when we respect and obey the law, we are manifesting the true Christ to those around us and change their lives. The life means Jesus is the vine and we are the branches. Jesus is the spirit who gives life to all who believes in him, who trusts in him, and above all, who listen to his teachings. Not only listening, but also live according to the teachings of Christ. Friends, for us to have life and life in fullness, we need to be connected to Christ, the source of life. Therefore, a Christian must remain connected to Christ in order for him or her to be able to help others reconnect themselves to Christ, the source of good life. The man will never give what he or she does not have. Be connected to Christ and you will give life to your family, to your community, to your brothers and sisters, and they help others to rediscover Christ, the source of life in their lives. Dear friends, the readings of today invite us to put Christ at the center of our lives in order for us to become true witnesses and manifest the Christ who is the way, the truth, and the life to our brothers and sisters. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed Friday to you. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.